What has happened in Cheesecake Nation? It is your old pal, Super Judge Funk, and the day of blasting at you with our Ant-Man movie review. Can I should give a little background on this why it's so late? I've actually been in the hospital for almost three weeks. I uh, had bad pneumonia and apparently turned to sepsis. Got real bad. They took a chunk of my lung out, so I'm back. Not 100% yet, but working towards it. And, uh, alright, without any further ado, the Ant-Man review. So yeah, Dave, this was definitely a movie you had a lot of concerns about, considering yeah. Ant-Man, in general, being your favorite overall <laughs> yeah. um, character. Yeah, I mean, I was really concerned with Scott Lang, because he's just not a very deep character. I mean, he's got a cool origin, but then what do you do with him? But I gotta say, Paul Rudd brought a lot of life to this character, so I think moving forward we got some good stuff. Yeah. Hank's still around, so maybe we'll see him do something else. We had, um... The Crooked Shield agent stole something, yeah. and he didn't get caught that we know of. So, there's always, you know, shrinking Hydra agents, if they want to do Ant-Man 2. Yeah. Or whatever they're going to do. Um... Yeah, before we get too much into a uh, spoiler territory, just um, yeah, this was just a really fun, awesome movie. Like we didn't really think it was gonna be as good as it was. It has like about an eighty on Rotten Tomatoes, so a lot of people really like it. Yeah, I thought outside of Darren Cross, who I kind of felt was just a little too Lex Luthor yeah. cheesy bad guy. Like, I don't know. Like, I felt like I was supposed to go into it not knowing he was the bad guy. <laughs> but, like, it was super duper obvious. <laughs> yeah, like, it was like a step below Ironmonger. In yeah. That regard. Like, like it, the only way he could have been more like, I'm a villain, is he was literally twirling a mustache <laughs> while talking to Pim. Like, I don't know. But yeah, like, did a good job with the casting. Like, his little group of, like, criminal friends. Yeah, everybody else I Those really enjoyed. Those guys were fun. Even T.I., like, who is not, in my opinion, an actor. He's just kind of a celebrity filling a role. Yeah. I thought he did a great job. I thought, um, everybody. Like, his whole crew just really did great. Michael Douglas was amazing. Oh, yeah. Great, uh, great Hank Pym. Like, he, like you said, brought a lot of... Is he was a fun character to do. Like he, he had a lot of serious stuff, but he he also had a lot of funny moments too. Yeah. Like he was I'm glad that you know that that did they did a good job with this movie. It's, it's so hard to like talk about it without like talking about the movie. Yeah, I mean, I think we'll end the non-spoiler part right there. Oh I yeah. Mean, definitely recommend it. Go check it out. Two big thumbs up. I mean, it's still doing great money in its third week, so I'm sure it'll be doing good money in its fourth week. Um, yeah, all right, let's get into spoiler territory. Things we like, things that were a little on the odd. Yeah. And I'll kind of start with that. Um, the big heist itself, we'll call it. Why did Hank Pym need to get into the building? <laughs> I don't know. He told the cops, he's like, people will die if I don't get in there. But why? He didn't do anything. <laughs> he got he caught a bullet, I guess. I guess Hope Hope would have been screwed. Yeah, too. <laughs> like he couldn't possibly have known that was coming. Yeah. His reveal on with the keychain thing, amazing. Oh yeah, because like it just seemed Not kind of keychain. it just seemed kind of like out of place just to have this like oh he's got this uh, tank keychain that you keep seeing like the, you, yeah. they purposely show it off and it's like but it wasn't like on the nose it wasn't like yeah. oh I bet you that's a tank yeah but, so that was really fun like yeah. all the super size stuff was really fun oh yeah the, those effects blew me away like I, every time he shrank down and the fights when he was small was just amazing the giant ant to me was a little cartoony, but everything else was. But pretty. yeah, I mean. But I, I mean, it was kind of meant to be. Yeah, like you could. Because I mean, if it was like a super realistic ant, like it would have been super creepy. Oh yeah, but, um, like, I agree. Like they they definitely meant for it to work, and I think it worked. Like it wasn't too over the top. 
Yeah, like it was still cute. It was still fun. I'm yeah. sure kids will love it. Um, yeah, ants are like they're, they're that kind of animal. Like some people are freaked out about them, but not as much. What like appearance wise, like if this had been about bees, like bees and spiders, people like if this ha I was waiting for the, like them to show a spider close up, and I'd be like, nope, nope, nope. So yeah, much, I'm nope. kind of surprised we didn't get some sort of other bug. Like I was kind of expecting the uh, heavy-handed metaphor of like a wasp killing an ant. Yeah. Just because, like, the yellow jacket thing. Yeah, but, uh... I think we have kind of mixed feelings. Like, you liked the yellow jacket suit. Right? It's not that I liked it. I liked the fact that they put, like, the honeycomb design on it. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like... It's not yellow jacket. Yeah, it's not yellow jacket. It it's... looks like it looks like a living laser. Yeah. <laughs> like, that was my first thought when I saw it. I was like, what? <laughs> like, I don't know. I would have liked it a lot more if he had just shot the beams out of his hands and just happened to have the big, kind of goofy shoulder dealies. Yeah. Like, if they would made them, like, some sort of energy. Yeah, I wish they had a different villain, like... Yeah, Cross is just... Just a name, but not Yellow Jacket, because Yellow Jacket is just another pen name. Yeah, like, I understand weird. it for, like, the purposes of the movie... But yeah, it was kind of weird. But I mean, like, there's not really a great shrinking villain. I mean, there's other villains I would have liked them to, like, to do. Like, I would love them to start setting up Masters of Evil with the actual Masters of Evil. Right. Like, we can get Radioactive Man and Tiger Shark. But I don't know how Tiger Shark works, because I know Namor is kind of in a weird... Yeah, he's in a weird place where... Like he's technically a, He's technically a mute. He kind of falls, like, within the... Well, it's uh, like, the I think he's, like over at Universal for, like, distribution rights. And there's right. like a lot of weirdness to his character personally. But I don't know if that affects his rogue gallery. Or if Tiger Shark is really even considered a Namor villain. Like, he is, but at the same time, like, he's more of a master yeah. evil than anything. Um, it's, uh... I gotta say, as far as child acting goes, I really like Cassie. Oh, yeah, I mean... I think for she, what little she did in the movie, she... She was really good. You didn't, you didn't want anything bad to happen to that kid. Yeah. It's not like when I was watching Jurassic World and I was just like... like you, you couldn't give less of a shit yeah, I'm just about like, those two guys. But yeah, Cassie, like, you wanted Scott to save Cassie. Like, you you wanted this little kid to come out all right, you know? Yeah. And, um... I gotta say, it was kind of weird that Louise was as tough as he is. Like, granted, they did kind of set it up by saying he was the only one... That knocked out. What was his name? Peaches? Yeah. No, I knocked him out. So I guess he's supposed to be really tough. And I don't really know, like, Scott Lang comic book background. I don't know. Maybe Louise is somebody in his actual comic book background that is, like, a legit badass. Yeah, we'll have to check that out. It just seemed weird he didn't have a gun. Yeah. <laughs> he's just, like, boxing a bunch of guys that had guns. He actually... Wait, he did have a gun. Yeah, but he didn't really use it. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Why didn't he use, just use the gun? Like... <laughs> I found just, it just really weird that he went back to save that one guard, but they left all the other unconscious guards in the building. <laughs> we assume somebody got to them. I, I think it's just because they hit him in such a weird area that nobody yeah. would have gone But, I mean, there. nobody knew the bomb was set to go off. Yeah, that's true. But I guess they had, like, all kinds of cops and stuff there. But, yeah. Yeah. It, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um... The fact that Hope was Hope Van Dyne and not Hope Pym was just kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, I understand that she doesn't like her dad, but I mean, it's like, did she change her name? It seems a little, <laughs> a little ridiculous. Um, maybe that's going to be something they'll do in a later Avengers movie yeah. or somebody bad mouths her father. I really enjoyed the fact that they uh, hinted at Hank not being mentally stable. They talked about the brain chemistry. They showed him having pills on his person. Yeah. So, the fact that he said he can't become the Ant-Man anymore could be hinted towards that. It could be that he's learned how to push towards growing, which could kind of foreshadow the Goliath. I'm glad Scott didn't grow, just because I don't think at any point Scott Lang has ever grown in the comics, so that would have been kind of weird. Yeah great if Pim gave him the disc to do it but if you know your comics like it's just like they showed in the movie like it's I don't think it's ever really had an impact on shrinking but growing 
if a being isn't like prepared for it, you'll actually be torn apart if you try to grow. Like that was one of the old weaknesses of uh, the giant man. If he tried to stay or go too big, he would start feeling like intense pain and muscle tears and stuff like that. But um, great Falcon cameo. I kind of oh, wish yeah. they didn't put it in the trailer. <laughs> yeah, that too. But uh, I love the costume. I mean, <clears throat> the way they, the, how they, avengered up his costume looked really cool. And that that was a great. I think that that might have been what my favorite scene of the whole movie. Like his little back and forth with Falcon on the roof. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. That was a nice little fight scene. I gotta say, the two uh, extra scenes I really enjoyed the uh, Wasp reveal. But the other scene, and I'm a big Winter Soldier fan, both movie and comic. But I'm just kind of like. I mean, it didn't really do anything. Yeah. Like, why is one of soldiers arm trapped in a vice? Did the Falcon throw a vice at him that attached? <laughs> like, I don't get it. Did he put himself there? Yeah, and like, you, you, you said this when we came out of the theater. What, what, what possible use could Ant-Man have yeah, like for their is, current situation with, with How Bucky? is Scott going to unbrainwash Bucky? <laughs> Is he an ant? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Winter Soldier scene. Oh my god, that reminds me. I saw a uh, a thing on Facebook where uh, Anthony has like I want to say it was like a like a metal thorax with like a red star on it, and like he had like the goggles and everything. It's like Anthony. He's like, and then it goes, "Who the hell is Anthony?" <laughs> I just thought that was funny. But yeah, I totally called Anthony was gonna die like as soon as he named it. Yeah. That just seemed like a thing that would happen. But. He didn't really, like, do much with it, though. Yeah, he just kind of, well, I mean, it was in the heat of the moment. He's like, oh, you're going to pay for that. And, like, he didn't go back to it. I kind of wish he would be like, this is for Anthony. And, like, he punches him through a thing or something. something. I guess he had something better to fight for. Yeah, I guess. It's like, mm, Where, daughter Jack Anthony, and daughter Anthony. Like, mm. <laughs> like, I don't even understand what Yellow Jacket's plan was. Like, I'm going to take Cassie because I'm evil. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think like I got like that was like, one that of those was like straight up uh pretty much just plot device for them to have a fight scene. Like they're really like Yeah, like it reminded me of the end of Incredibles. Yeah. Like what what is the point of this? Well I mean that point like he was gonna take the baby and like raise it as his own. Yeah, but, but I'm like still stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like this was just yeah. kinda like I don't know, I just was not feeling I guess it was just for revenge? Like, because he didn't really have a... I don't know, I just, just everything else blew up, and he didn't really have anything else to go for, so he just went to go get revenge. Yeah, I just gotta say, like, I just was not feeling the villain in this, but I liked everything else. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, like it wasn't... He's not the worst villain ever. Like, he didn't ruin the movie yeah, in like, any sense of the word, but it was still a little weak sauce. Yeah, like, I never really... Like, I don't know, maybe it was on the writing... I don't, I don't want to put it on the actor, but it was just like... I never really felt his hate for him. Yeah. He's like, like, you didn't trust me, but I'm giving you a pretty good reason why you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. You think it would have been more powerful if him had died in the vault? Mm, maybe. Because I was like, oh, that's how they're going to write him out. Because I doubt they're going to get Michael Douglas back. Yeah. So it's like, I guess they can keep, like, referencing him. Like, Pim sent this over. It's super technology. Yeah. Because, I mean, if one team gets Tony and Banner's gone, the other team is, like, super outgunned without <laughs> a scientist of their own. Right. And granted, Scott is fairly intelligent, but he's not Tony yeah. Stark. He's yeah. I mean, the, uh, Team Cap could always get T'Challa. Yeah, I guess. I mean, there's always hope for that, but who knows? Again, who knows? It's Yeah, I mean, I don't know how much T'Charlie's going to really... <laughs> I mean, because like, they didn't really write up uh, Falcon being super intelligent. No. So, I don't know. Maybe they'll make him super intelligent. I just feel like if they go, like, his pure comic book, he ends up like a hybrid between Cap and Tony. 
and he's just kind of like <laughs> not special. Uh, to Charlie. I was like, kind of like work up more towards like his stealth and his martial arts and stuff like that. But then he's kind of like a yeah. dude widow. So I got, I got some worries about that character, just yeah. like how they're going to do him. Oh, speaking of Falcon, uh, I really in the like the second scene, or whatever. Oh, the uh, the plan. No, no, not the second. It was at the end of the movie, not the second scene. But you know, yeah, the second plan where they like, uh, what's her face mentions like talking about a guy you can fling around and walk on walls. I'm like, did they just mention Spider Man? That, I thought that was pretty cool. Like, like if you don't like listen for it, like you'll kind of miss it. I feel, but like. If you're like paying attention, you'll get it like right away. Yeah. I thought that was a cool little. Because it's, it's like uh, we were saying, they uh, they didn't get uh, Spider Man in time mm -hmm. to do a little thing, but hopefully we'll get to see something in a uh, Civil War with him. But um, I think we're pretty much going to wrap it up. I mean, yeah, not a whole lot left to say. I mean, like, it was a good movie. Yeah. Really fun. I felt like Hydra was a bit of a crutch. Yeah, like, there's, like, like, I wish like a reason for the bad guy to do what he did. Yeah, he's like, oh, these guys work for Hydra. But they're okay now. They're, you know, they're not evil or anything, you know? I yeah. don't even know what Hydra is. I read it on the internet. <laughs> Which I guess is possible after yeah. Widow, but I don't know. It just, it seemed super, like, over the top. It's like, 60s cartoon evil. Yeah, like. Yeah, like you said, that's like the only thing I really didn't like about the movie was the villain. Yeah, like I thought he was pretty... I would almost put him on Whiplash level, just... Mm. Like I just didn't like him. I just thought he was goofy. and But everything else in the movie is so good that like you kind of forget that he's around being yeah. goofy and evil. And then like just the fight scenes enough are cool, so you kind of forgive it. Yeah. But again, I kind of wish they went into a slight different direction with with uh, the villain that they put in the movie. But other than that, yeah. very solid movie. Definitely uh, up there in the pantheon with the rest of the uh, Marvel Studios movies that have been coming out as of late. Yeah, I think it would have been a better movie all around is if they had completely taken out Darren Cross, kept Jan in the movie, have her die at some point, and then do Red Queen, which is Hope's villain persona. Yeah. Where she's just, you know, lost her mind. I don't know if that could have been cool, but that's such an obscure character. But granted, so is Darren Cross. Like, they never even called him Crossfire the entire movie. No. So, all right, guys. I'm going to rate it 7.5 out of 10. Really enjoyable. Yeah. Definitely, I really liked it. A few little issues here and there, but, I mean, totally a great watch. Definitely fills in a good spot in the Marvel Universe. Yeah, absolutely. Um, as far as staying for the credit scenes, I would say you definitely want to see the uh, Wasp one. Uh, the other one's just kind of, I don't know. It's kind of long credits to sit through. For yeah, we were like, matter. all right, our, the credits, you know. <laughs> and it's okay. It's, cause like, it's like Team Marvel, Team Disney, Team Lucasfilm, Team Foreign, Team that comes in to clean up our shit. <laughs> Special effects team, number two. The guys who make everything. The guy who made our coffee. So, <laughs> His dog. Yeah, I was just kind of like, yeah, all right. But, um... All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up right yeah, What's there. your, uh, what do you rate? Oh, yeah, I'm giving it a 7.5, maybe an 8. Yeah. Definitely, definitely worth it. All right, guys, like I said, we're going to wrap it up right there. So, if you haven't seen this movie, go see it. Oh, quick little, because uh, Aaron and I went and saw Inside Out last week. Um, go see that movie. This is a little quick review. If you haven't seen that movie, go see it. <laughs> I mean, my God. Like, there's no point in talking about it any further because what can I possibly say about Inside Out that hasn't already been said by everyone else? I think it's got like a 98 or something like that on Rotten Tomatoes. See, I've seen some people that weren't fans of it, but at the same time, I feel like it all depends on how you go into the movie. Yeah, so, either way, that that's my little quick review for Inside Out. Go fucking see it. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends, your family. And a little teaser for our next video.